I want to welcome everybody to another episode of Cam Kika. Keep it classy always. And I'm going to address a few topics, but the main theme of this talk is going to be peace and love. And when you want to bring Jews closer to God, that's the best way to do it. Trust me when I tell you, you always say the truth. If they get scared, that's fine. Like a good doctor, he tells the patients the truth, but you do it in a classy way. You don't do it to make a person feel bad. You don't do it in a way that might embarrass a person in public. You understand? You do it, you do it right. Now, in the religious world, there's a lot of rabbis fighting with each other. It's all ego. The Torah is very clear, man. Put your ego down and make peace and keep it classy always. Hashem loves unity. You don't agree, you agree to disagree. If there's a rabbi out there that's saying things that are against the Torah, you can say what he said is wrong. You can even expose him. But again, in a classy way. You can always say what you want to say in a classy way. I hope and pray that God allows a lot of people to listen to this message because I'm going to hit you with some strong points about what I'm saying. Today in this generation, it's not recommended to hit your kid. Why? Because the kids today, they can't take a beating like that like we did when we were younger. You know, I remember I told my mother to shut up one time before I could finish speaking. My lip was bleeding. My father gave me such a backhand. And said I was probably nine years old. I deserved it and I ate it and it was good for me. You understand? But today, you do that to a kid, he could rebel big time. Because the souls that are here now, that are coming reincarnated while it's really close to the end, are souls with a lot of stains, that have a lot of correcting to do. You understand? So they're hitting them, they're going to probably lash out. You just do your best to keep it classy. Tell them the truth. Mechalel Shabbat, it's a problem when you go to heaven. Hashem is going gonna, is gonna to demand of you to explain why you didn't take time to keep Shabbat. Why you didn't you show appreciation to me? Why didn't you show me that you cared about me and that you were being a testimony to everybody in the street that you are a witness that Hashem made the world in six days and rested on the seventh? Therefore, you're resting on the seventh to show solidarity and unity with God, to sacrifice for God. You'll have to answer for that. And here, I just told you that in a classy way. You didn't have to put you down, didn't have to make you feel bad give you love with a hug but like a doctor you must hear the truth you understand so here's a great lesson about peace it says in the Torah Parshish Noach Noach Matzachen Be'nei Hashem Noach found favor in the eyes of Hashem the secret to how Noach found favor in the eyes of Hashem is in the word Chen favor if you take the word Chen and you switch the letters it says, it spells Noach. That's a beautiful lesson to teach you that if you want to find favor in the eyes of God, Tiyeh be Noach, be calm, be relaxed, be loving, be kind. Don't try to get revenge. Like the Torah says, you see your enemy's donkey fall, help him. Help him, not your enemy that's going to kill your children. That person you have an obligation to kill. I'm talking about somebody maybe you argue with in the building or, so, you know, like an enemy. You know you know what we mean. The Torah says you should go and help him. Why? Put your ego down and make peace. It's the only way to be, man. I'm telling you right now, it's the only way to be. Because when you put your ego down and make peace, you will be close to God. When you put your ego down and make peace, you'll have peace in your life. When you put your ego down and make peace, you'll have mental health. When you put your ego down and make peace, you'll be able to enjoy nature. When you put your ego down and make peace, you'll be respectful to your parents. And when you put your ego down and make peace, you'll show the world that you trust God. Why? Because if somebody hurts you, <laughs> you don't have to get revenge. Like the Chinese say, you go to get revenge, dig two graves, one for him and one for you. You understand? You don't have to do anything. Pray to Hashem, to help you, just like we say in, in, when we do Shemona Esrei, to ruin anybody's evil plan against us, to protect us. But when does Hashem protect us? Like I just told you, you want to find favor in the eyes of God, be relaxed, be calm, 
show respect. And when you act like that, you bring honor to God's name. You think he likes when Jews, even if there was a rabbi that was calling out another rabbi that did something wrong, and that rabbi got so upset that he started yelling, screaming, and getting out of character, he'll lose the whole message. Yeah, a couple of people might get impressed, but the majority of people will get turned off by that. You understand? So even in a situation like that, like I said, you can always say what you want to say in a classy way. There's a rabbi out there that's preaching or modifying the Torah in the wrong way. Call him out. Expose him. No problem. But do it in a classy way. There's only a few times and exceptions in this world where you don't have to keep it classy. Somebody comes into your house to murder you. You kill him first. Okay, you didn't have to keep it classy. No problem. You understand what we're saying? 99% of the time Put your ego down And make peace The only time I know In halakha That you can embarrass another person Is when he makes fun of God Maybe an atheist But not even just an atheist An atheist that publicly Is making fun of God You can embarrass him I wouldn't even suggest it Why? I tell you why Because if somebody would come up to you And claim Oh you didn't embarrass him You don't love God that's not true. Hashem can embarrass him. You could tell him in a nice way or in a tough way. Hey, watch your mouth before Hashem takes your tongue and rips it out. I don't even think that would embarrass him. It might infuriate him, but that you could say. You understand? You could break him with spiritual wisdom. That's okay. But again, keep it classy. I hope everybody understands what I'm saying, man. With your parents, with your sisters, with your brothers. Make a mistake, you call up, you say sorry. Keep it classy. Camp Kika in the house, always here to let y'all know that when you keep it classy, you will find favor in the eyes of God. Peace. I love you, God.